Uh, you, you just mentioned your book, right? And this, this, this book has saved lives, 100%. Mm-hmm. Saved human beings. Yeah, a lot. Tell me about it. Um, the fifth vital is so many things. I mean, ba- I mean, in its, in its simplest form, it's a memoir, um, about my battle with drug addiction, which was, uh, uh, you know, basically a 10 year bout with addiction to, um, opiates, Oxycontin, heroin, crack cocaine, um, everything under the sun. Um, and it, also a, a, a document um, about about my struggles with mental health and 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 mental illness, which is something that I continue to battle each and every single day of my life, um, from the second I wake up until the second I go to bed. Mm. Um, and uh, I got clean off opiates on June twenty third, two thousand ten, uh, in Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, at SCRC, uh, um, a state funded you know detox facility in in the the hood in in New Haven, Connecticut. And, um, after I got clean, maybe a couple years after I got clean, I started writing Mm. and I wanted to document the hellish experience that I went through, which was, I mean, it, it, you know, for, for people who haven't read the book, just, just ripe with some of the most destructive stories that you could ever hear and probably wouldn't believe. Mm. I mean, just massive, you know, car accidents and overdoses and losing friends and broken bones and ICUs and handguns and felony charges and, um, just basically war, you know? And, and, um, I wanted to tell the story of what I call in the book, the, the forgotten, you know, and, and this under layer of people who have been disregarded by our society in America, um, fathers, brothers, sisters, uh, loved ones, family members who have fallen victim to big pharma or addiction or lack of mental health, um, you know, resources in this country. And, uh, and so I wrote this book about my story as well as, um, my escape from it and how I got to where I am now. And, um, I, I had hoped that, well, I, I remember thinking to myself when I when I was getting near finishing it, I was like, man, if 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 a hundred people read this story, if one hundred people read this story, and one of those people says, I'm gonna I'm gonna I want to do this. I, there's a chance for me. I've been a, an addict for 15 years, mm-hmm. but look at him. Look what he's doing now. Look where he is in his life. If one person says that, my life is complete. I never have to worry to myself any ever again. What do I have to do with my life? How can I, how can I help? How can I make an impact? Yep. And you know, as of maybe like last week, we're, we're coming up on like 300,000 copies sold. 300,000 dude. Yeah. yeah, It's one of the highest ranked books on Amazon and, and audible. It's almost five out of five stars on both platforms. I mean, thousands and thousands of ratings. I mean, I've met people in every, every state, every country in the world that beautiful have, um, use it as a testament to getting clean, understanding their mother's suicide, their father's addiction to heroin, you know, how helping loved ones, um, you know, find a reason to get clean. It's in jail systems. It's in rehabilitation centers. I've sent out thousands of copies. I've donated thousands of copies. Um, and it has allowed me the peace of mind to, to feel like I, I have made a difference and Absolutely. I've climbed a, a mountain that a lot of people look at as like a second mountain, you know, and I kind of climbed it first before finding all of my magnificent success elsewhere. What so. an achievement. I mean, I mean saving a human life is an achievement, is a blessing, right? Like it's a gift. We lost to- my stepbrother. How many years has it been? Many, a few yeah. years. <clears throat> he ended up uh, killing himself over over drugs. Yeah, it's very, very hard. And it happens every day all over this world. And uh, I know personally people that that book has helped so much. So thank you for that, man. That's beautiful. It's been a, it's been almost like a, um, it's a, it was a relief, but also another pressure because when you, when you put that story out, it invites a lot of energy back in your direction of people who want to continue talking about it. Mm. 
And it's something that I've struggled with. The, the one thing I will say is I, I and I, I'm very, one thing I'm, I'm learning to do through therapy is to not be so hard on myself. Mm. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very hard on myself, like very, and I want to help everyone. And so when someone messages me, you know, today's the day, I, I can't do this anymore. Mm. I don't want to be here anymore, which is every single day of my life. I stop everything that I'm doing. My day comes, grinds to a halt, and now I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that person for three hours. And my team is like, dude, like, this is not okay. Like, you, this is not your burden. You cannot try to save everybody. You're not going to be able to do that. Um, and so it's, it's, um, it's, just really, it's just really challenging and really um, upsetting, and it's something that will always kind of stick with me is, is – knowing that there are so many people out there who need help and can't mm. get it.